Five questions for the Southside YouTube channel, and I am joined by the current Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, a team of Frankie. Stop, 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 stop. World Tag Team Champions of the World. Okay, sorry, okay. yes. No, it it is. Yep. Do you know why we're called that? Please inform me. Because we're two planets worth of great. That's right. We're not, it's not redundant. No. So there. Okay, continue. Continue. Five questions. Five, Five questions. questions. Gentlemen. Yes. Mr. Buzz in like family feud? I don't know, is this a, is this a, okay. Are we against each other or we both answer? No, we're never against each other, we're always a team. Go ahead, go ahead, Sal. First question. Yes. Come on, kid. What is your opinion of the UK wrestling scene? Um, I, uh, basically in a word, I love it. Yeah. I love coming over here. Um, I love the passion of the fans. Uh, I love the passion of the wrestlers. I love the opportunity to get to get in there and do what I love to do with uh, hungry young teams. Uh, a lot of guys gunning, especially in the Alpha Bs. Yeah. Um, I've always uh, had a stellar time when I come to the UK. I've been coming here for the better part of 12 years, and I know CD has too, and uh, it just gets better and better, and I look forward to doing many, many more tours. And you look at guys coming up, guys like Will Osprey, guys like Mark Haskins, guys like Jim and Lee Hunter, guys like Mark and Joe Coffey, all of this young talent that's coming up on the UK scene. We've known for years about guys like Doug Williams. Mm -hmm. Like he's been a standout for many, many years. But you got these guys coming up that are just now starting to make their names, whether it's Southside or PBW or any of the, the myriad uh, future pro wrestling, the myriad of UK promotions that are out and about. You're seeing all this young talent come up, and when you bring gentlemen like the physical fascination of Frankie Kazarian, the ring general Christopher Daniels, you bring guys like us over here, it's a measuring stick. They get in the ring with us because they want to find out, can they really make it? Can they really step up to the top level? They don't always do it, but they certainly give their they best try. effort. Do they not? They do they not? They do. That was the first question. Did we get it right? Of course we got what it. What do we get? You know why? We get, get a second rise? question, I think. I think we get a second we question. Second question. Maybe four at least. Yeah, another four. Here we um, go, Tag team wrestling. Yes. Do you think there's been a revival in tag team wrestling in the last couple of years? And that's due in part because the independent wrestling scene is getting bigger and there's a bigger audience, a bigger well, live well, audience. Well, it's due in part because uh, the two guys standing uh, right here in front of you. Really? Uh, you know, uh, around 2012, tag team wrestling was pretty much dead in the water. And then all of a sudden, these two handsome devils decided to team up in a little organization based out of Nashville, and we set the wrestling uh, tag team world on fire, and we have not looked back since. And uh, in the wake of I that, just did, you just looked back. Too. I just looked back. In the wake of that, again. you know, teams like Red Dragon, teams like the, the Young, Young Bucks. Bucks, teams like The Kingdom, teams like Rapungi Vice have come up and created right now what I consider the best tag team wrestling division in the States in Ring of Honor. Coming over here, I see nothing but great tag teams. And you know what? Uh, you can blame it on the great independence. I'm taking responsibility for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It's really, it's really us. It's really us. Because champions are only as good as the challengers, but at the same time, challengers need to fight their way up to become champions. And if you have horrible champions, then it doesn't matter how good you are. But when you have champions, I like people like us, men of virtue, inspiration to children everywhere, national treasures, Ms. Then Gump. everybody strives yeah. to be better, and we have done that. We have made people strive to be better. We want. We have wrestlers going to bed, praying at the end of the night to say, please God, please, when I wake up, let me be just a little bit closer to being as good as Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian. Sometimes their prayers are answered. We want everyone to be like us. They can't. We, yeah. that's, that's, our, you know, that, that's our ultimate goal. They're inspired to be like us. They're, you're welcome. What do you think the future of professional wrestling is? It's a tough one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my Stallone. Oh, yeah, here, there we go. Yeah, yeah. The future of pro wrestling? Not to repeat an answer, but again, you're looking at it. You know, we're also the present, uh, and we are a gift. Yes. See what I did there? Yes. Uh, the future of pro wrestling is, um, is bright because, of course, we hold these belts, and we're leading the next generation into the future of wrestling. Uh, the future of wrestling have watched guys like Christopher Daniels and myself, so they're better for having watched us. Simple and they're, and again, they're striving to be as good as us. They're failing. I mean, they're trying to be as good as us, and it's a oh. gradual process. Every day they come a step closer, but at the same time, like fine wine, every day we get better yeah. and better. World Tag Team Champions of the World for the third time in right. the second company that we ever yeah. tried. Yeah. I mean, all is well. 
with the addiction. Correct. Yeah, uh, correct. And people may not like us. You know what? If I was a regular person, I probably wouldn't like us either. I look at the ring and I see two talented guys. I see two handsome guys. Yeah. I see uh, two well-spoken guys. I see my girlfriend or wife or significant other or boyfriend All the looking at these uh, at these two gentlemen with lustful eyes. Sure. I wouldn't like me either. So I kind of get it. So you know, when we walk into a bar. We walk into a concert and we turn heads and, you know, boyfriends get jealous and tug on their woman's coattails a little bit snug. I understand that. I wouldn't like me either, but I'm me. And yeah. I love me so I love you, bro. I love you, bro. You're great. You're great. All right. Was that three? That's yeah, three. three. Right. Yeah. Um, next question then. The use of the internet in professional wrestling. Do we okay. see this a good thing? With the well, it helps me get directions when I'm trying to go somewhere, <laughs> like if I get on just a map quest like or... A, or a net that you catch no, 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 it's the thing on the thing with the thing. The AOL. You type and the the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type, 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 and... Blam, 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 the internet's you know. good and bad. The internet has given... The good thing about the internet is it has given a voice to the voiceless. The bad thing about the internet is that it has given a voice to the voiceless. People uh, tend to build up instead of tearing, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, people do not build up, they tear down because they're insecure. Going back to them wanting to be us and knowing that they're never going to be. So in that regard, the internet, uh, eh. But in terms of reaching a lot more fans, uh, in terms of us being viewed by a lot more eyeballs, the internet's great. Okay. Final question then. Thank I God. Think Oof, God. I know what the answer to this is gonna be. Drinking time, for God's Lord. sakes. You owe us around, by the what way. What is... I'm, I'm cool with that. All right. Um, what is the legacy of the addiction? <laughs> I thought you might enjoy legacy. That the legacy of the addiction. I mean, what you're looking at right here, and we haven't even peaked. We are in our prime. What you're service. looking at is 40, count them, four zero years of experience between these two handsome devils. The current Ring of Honor tag team champions of the world. We're just getting started. That's the scary thing. We're just getting started. So it's way too early to talk about our legacy. I mean, we've both had stellar singles careers before we even tagged. We've been all over the world before we even begin tagging. Now we're at the forefront of professional tag team wrestling. So our legacy is going to be defined many years down the road. Right now, I'm worried about taking care of business, avoiding some tickle butt and keeping these belts. 40 years of professional wrestling experience and we still wrestle like we're 19 years old. We still step into the ring and we show the kids how it's done. I've got kids blowing up, spitting out blood, uh, breathing so heavy that I think they're gonna pass out. These are kids that I could be their dad. That's how young they are and yet I'm blowing them up because I'm in such great shape. Frankie Kazarian, the physical fascination, every time he walks into a ring and opens up his coat, Ladies faint, and men are so damn jealous, they bust a blood vessel in their eye. That's how it goes. That is the legacy of the addiction. Just jealousy and envy from everyone that sees us. Because ladies want to be with us, and men just want to be near us. Some because that's be how us. great... Well, some men won't be with not us. Not that there's anything wrong right, with right. that. But... When the final tale is told about the addiction, they're gonna say that they were the best tag team in the business. And when we're done, we're gonna have these championships buried with us. You all right with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're a good kid. Thank you. You know what you know. You know what you get for answering those questions. You get permission to worship us. Wow. Now, now. All right.